أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم أما بعد Dear respected brothers May Allah عز وجل Glory be to him Bless you Amen يا رب العالمين Allah سبحانه وتعالى إن إن Holy Quran started a lot of surahs with what they call, the scholars said, Al-Huruf al the broken letters, or the separate letters. And it is 14 letters. Some of the scholars said that this letters is 14 letters because, you know, the Arabic letters is 28. So this 14 letters is meaning half of the of the Arabic letters. Allah Azza wa Jal started <coughs> some ayat or some surahs with one letter, same like Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Sad, Noon, Qaf, and some surahs start with two letters like Hamim. Yasin and some surahs start with three letters like Alif Lam Mim or Alif Lam Ra and some surahs start with four letters like Alif Lam And some surahs start with five letters, like Kaf So the scholars said that this letters, these letters, is to pay attention for 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 anyone to listen to it or read it. What does that mean? Like, قاف. okay, so so he pay attention for what's coming after that. Another scholar said that it's it is have the all you know half of the the letters of the Arabic letters, and it has, for example, the al mufakham like sad the heavy letters, and it have al muraqab like lam. Lam, la, la, lam, and sad. Uh, so, Subhanallah al Azim, for sure, no one know what it means except for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. And another scholars also they said that these letters <coughs> is a challenge for the for the Arabic people because at this time Allah Azza wa Jalla said Inna anzalnahu Qur'anan Arabian. We revealed it as an Arabic Quran. So the Arabic language and the people at the, at the time of the Prophet of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, peace and blessing upon him, all of them, they playing with the language. They know it very, very well. And uh, they said that they do the poet, poetry. And just the minimum one of them, the minimum one, when he go to his house, he can easily like uh, recite or saying uh, poetry for like uh, 1200 uh, column just by himself just you know from uh, from any meeting to, to his house for example or from from any visit to his house <clears throat> so subhanallah al-azim the quran came to challenge them this is the letters and this is the letters contain half of them contain from the whole arabic language and you do not know what it means. So this is the letter from the calf, you know, ha, ayn, sad, alif, lam, mim, noon, qaf, sad, ta, ha, ya, seen. All these letters, it is from the Arabic language and you do know not, not uh, what, what it means. And also, it's a common mistake that a lot of people, they, they thinking that ya, seen, it's a name. Or Taha, it's a name. Taha is not, not a name. Taha, it's T. 
do two letters ta ha like ha mim and ya seen also is not a name ya seen is two letters allah azza wa he the one who know what did this what did that mean jazakum allah khairan wa barakallahu lana wa lakum fil quran alazim wa nafa'na wa iyyakum bi dhikr hakim amin ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh اهلا وسهلا يا ارحب سمعت يا شيخ الف لام ميم نعم اذا بدك تفسرها 